Hey everybody, Michael here. I uh, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas. So I got this really cool apron. Um, as you can see, it's nice and clean. I haven't started using it yet. I got some card scrapers and I got a pack of these uh, clamps here for corners, making boxes and stuff. That's not why I'm here today. Um, I'm actually here to show off something else I got during the Christmas season. Uh, a company called Fantic actually had on their Facebook page had a contest for their X8 Apex uh, inflator and I was one of the lucky winners here. So I want to show this off to you just a real quick video. So as far as the pump itself goes, the pump does have some weight to it. It's 820 grams because it's got the electronics in there, the compressor and a 2600 milliamp battery. That battery runs the compressor and it also can be used as a power bank using the output of the USB output to charge a tablet or a cell phone. Uh, the top of this actually has the output for the air. You can take your hose and you can twist it and screw it in there. And it has a 80 lumen light on the front. So the light itself, you have to have the unit on. I just turned it on and you press the light button and the light comes on. You press it again, it turns into an SOS strobe. And one more time and that turns it off. Again, you have to have the, the uh, hose screwed in all the way so that you can use it as an air pump. And screw this to get it out of the way. What else do you come that comes with this? Besides the hose, you get a needle uh, valve so you can actually air up balls with it. You get a Presta adapter to air up uh, Presta valves. All you do is add that on top of the normal hose and you can actually use that on uh, if you have those valves. And we take that off and then you get a USB to a USB-C so you can charge this up uh, using the port input port below. And you get a bag to store everything in it. As far as the bag goes, what I was thinking was, man, that's a big hole. I'm gonna lose my little pieces out of this thing. Um, actually, you're not, because what I found looking inside was a secret bag right here. So this bag actually has a Velcro top so you can put your valves and everything, the cord and everything else in there. And once you get everything in there, you can seal it up and tuck that back in to the main bag. And then you can put your pump inside. As far as the pump goes, it's a great pump. I was able to uh, top off, let's see, 10, 18 different tires with this. Uh, eight car tires and 10 bicycle tires. They were not all flat. Um, they were all pretty low and the bike the car tires were at least 10 uh, no i'm sorry five psi too low so i raised all those up and the bike tires were just uh, all, big range on those so they will top off all those tires with a single charge um great great pump it's as far as loudness goes i mean it's it has a pretty good ear piercing uh, decibel so i just kind of stood away from it while i was airing up so as far as the things I don't like about this, um, number one is when you're changing modes, with switching from like say a bicycle to a car, it doesn't retain the measurement. Um, so if I'm on PSI, on when I'm airing up a bicycle, and I'm gonna switch to a car, if I change it to a car, it jumps from PSI to bar. So I have to switch it back to PSI to air up that, that car. And then if I go from a car to a ball, well, when I switch it to the ball, it jumps back to bar. I have to switch it back to PSI. So it doesn't retain the last measurement it was using. I wish it did. Um, I haven't figured out a way to lock it in there yet. The other complaint I have is the, the foot on this has a rubber ring. It's not, it protrudes very, very minimal there on the bottom. You can't really see it, but it, does, it is there. It, it keeps it from uh, getting scratched when it actually air, air, airing up this way. However, if for whatever reason your air hose is not long enough and you have to lay this down on its back, of course you don't want to lay it on the side because you have these vents here, but if you have to lay it on its back, there's nothing protecting the back of this thing from getting all scratched up. So I took some rubber feet and stuck them on there to keep it from actually getting scratched up. So that way I can lay it down flat and um, have no problems with it actually bouncing around or, or getting you know, scratched up and everything. So. Um, you know, not keeping the measurement type, not enough rubber around here. It would be nice if it had some rubber rings around here or something just to keep it uh, from getting scratched up on the body of it. 
Other than those two, I guess the, my only other complaint would be maybe a place to store this besides just the bag. It would be nice if it's actually kind of dropped down in it. Maybe there's other units out there that do that. Um, this is the only one I'm familiar with, so I maybe mean, this is normal. I, I, don't, I don't know, but this, I wish there was a place to kind of store this so I can just have just this instead of um, having this bag and having everything else, so which kind of is in, in, in the accessories, which kind of stored in this unit. But other than that, that, and that's just a minor complaint, that's the only points I have this thing. This thing is really, really cool. So, oh, and another thing I forgot to mention about this, it can go up to a maximum of 150 PSI, which is crazy for this little bitty box going that much pressure. So that's it. That's my little review of the Fantic X8 Apex tire inflator. I'll put a link to this unit in the description below and actually I put a couple of links to some other products that I have that I haven't done a review on officially uh, I've tried them out and used them but I haven't put anything out there yet if you're curious to see what they look like let me know in the comments below but I will put those in put the links in the description down below hopefully you guys have a good New Year's and y'all had a, a great holiday season um, I'm off this week, so I'm going to do a little bit more work in the shop while I can, and then it's back to the grind next week. So anyway, hope you guys have a good one. See you next time. Hey guys, I'm back with a quick update. In the video, I mentioned this has a 2600 milliamp battery. It actually has three of those. So there's a total of 7800 milliamp per hour uh, battery capacity in this uh, inflator. Also, in the comments below, I will put a coupon code that Fantix sent me that I'm allowed to share with you guys. It saves you $10 at checkout in Amazon. So right now this product came out in December 2021. They have a coupon code right now on their product inside Amazon. There's a little checkbox before you go to the um, add to cart deal. When you hit the checkbox, it'll save you $20. Using my coupon code at checkout saves you an additional $10. So that's $30 off a pocket size portable 150 PSI inflator and you can't go wrong with that. So anyway, appreciate you watching. See you next time.